Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. The workbook window is the window in which you will perform almost all your work. You enter data into the worksheets within the workbook window. The names of the worksheets in a workbook appear in the tabs within the lower left corner of the workbook. A workbook stores information much like a database table does. A single worksheet in an Excel workbook is arranged as a grid that contains 16,384 columns and 1,048,576 rows. The first 26 columns are labeled A through Z. After that, they are labeled AA through AZ, then AAA through XFD. The rows are simply sequentially numbered from 1 through 1,048,576. The intersection of a column and a row in a worksheet is called a cell. Cells are where you enter information. They are referenced by the intersection of their column letter and row number locations within the worksheet using an identification known as a cell address. For instance, the first cell in the upper left corner is called cell A1 because it is in column A at row 1. To the right of that cell is cell B1 because it is in column B, row 1. To refer to a specific cell in a worksheet, just combine its column letter with its row number. You can only enter data into the currently selected cell within a worksheet, which is also called the active cell. You can tell which cell is the active cell because it has a border around it and its cell address appears in the name box in the formula bar. The column and row headings for the column and row in which the active cell appears are also highlighted a slightly darker gray color. You can only have one active cell available for data entry at a time. Make sure that you leave the cell after performing data entry by moving the cursor out of the cell using keystrokes or by clicking into a different cell to set the data in the cell and continue data entry in the workbook. Although you can scroll throughout the whole worksheet, you can only enter data into the currently selected cell. So even if you've scrolled the view of the worksheet 100 columns to the right, if your active cell is cell A1, then that's where your data entry will occur when you start to type. You can also select or reference multiple cells to manipulate the information contained inside of them. A selection of multiple cells or a reference to multiple cells is called a cell range. For instance, you can select the cells from A1 through A10 and then add their values together. We will look at selecting, referencing, and manipulating cell ranges later in this tutorial. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.